Hey guys, uh, check it out. I'm going to play She from the Alive album, as by request. And uh, I'm going to break it down and play it with the metronome. I'm going to show all the chords, uh, the riffs, and the solos, and uh, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, let's get started. Uh, the intro starts off in a G power chord, third fret. And you can play the octave G uh, in this position to get, more, to get more of a slide or play it here, like so. I prefer to play it here if I were to play it, okay? Uh, the riff goes something a little like this. And then uh, on the second go around with that riff, you won't come back to this note, so it'll go something like this. Okay. I'm going to put this together on the metronome for you, and uh, it's set at 70, so here we go. Three, four. Okay, the next part we're going to go into is uh, playing our G power chord again, and then we're going to play our A sharp B flat and our um, C. Just like so. Okay, and then the riff in between this goes something like this. Again. And I'll play it on the metronome. So, okay, our next riff, um, guitar one, is going to go something like this. simple uh, does it four times it'll go something like this on my phone. So now uh, we're going to the chorus 
and uh, guitar one is pretty much uh, guitar two pretty much ringing out the A chord. Uh, I believe uh, Paul does something coming out of that A chord just before going into the G is something like a. Uh, um, I don't know for sure, but uh, I believe it's something like that. If I go back in the earlier albums and listen to it, you'll hear more of the chord variations being played with this. Okay, so after the chorus, we go back to the verse, and then we do the chorus again, and then we come back into uh, this part here. Okay, we play that twice, and then guitar one will be doing something like this. Um, my, my bad, it do, doesn't do anything like that. It goes, uh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. And with guitar one doing that, guitar two will come come into the octave position, do the same thing. Okay, and then we come into our um, next part. bass run that uh, that's right follows right after this and then the guitars come back in with this here and then we have the solo Okay, then after that, we come into this here. So it's, so it's like shock. And pull off. Then we go. One on the A, double, again, uh, the other guitar is going to be playing this here. And that's what's being played uh, while the solo is going on. Okay, and that's pretty much all the chords and all the little riffs that are in the song. Even when it comes to the end, um, the riffs for the end. Um, at the very end, just before the Ace's little uh, uh, solo towards the end, um, goes something like this. It's like. I'll try that again. Um, 
you're doing this twice. Doing that twice, uh, then you're doing this twice. Then you're doing this twice. Okay, this is the uh, solo section. Uh, the first part at the beginning of the song is going to go something like this. Okay, uh, then on to our, uh, that was our intro lick. Now we're going to play our first half of the solo. Go something like this. Then we slide to our 12th position. So if we play this up to speed, three, four, Okay, and then we come up to our second uh, and final ending of the solo. Uh, within the song. It goes something like this. Okay, and then after our double bends here, we have this lick that we actually used uh, in the first part of the solo. Actually, actually, how did that go? Yeah, sorry about that. So when we get to this bend here. Um, So,
guys, uh, it kind of should sound something like this when you play it up to speed. Three, four. <laughs> Here's the ending lick. Uh -huh.